Hey, 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 everyone, Razbowski here, and holy ass, EscortGames.com has been updated again, and this one is a big one, ladies and gentlemen. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five new animatronics have appeared on it, and one is very, very, oh, it's just so good. Anyway, let's go onto the page and just search from left to right. So, on the very left, we have... I'm pretty sure that's Purple Freddy down there. That is a Purple or Shadow Freddy. I'm, I'm going to say Purple Freddy just for this instance because I'm sure we're going to get a, 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 a Shadow Freddy at some point because we do have the Shadow Bonnie over here. So we've got Purple Freddy down here. Now, as we move slowly across, you will see somebody hiding behind here and the ears suggest that it is a fixed spring trap. It looks like a fixed spring trap, which would be Spring Bonnie in this case. So we've got Spring Bonnie added to the roster, which is absolutely fantastic. But those eyelashes... Scott, I mean, we already had the debate about whether they're Mangle as a boy or a girl, but now we've got, we've, we've got fucking Spring Bonnie in here. Is, is, is Spring Bonnie a female? I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna say male, because if you have a look at Toy, Adventure Toy Bonnie down here, Adventure Toy Bonnie actually has the eyelashes just like Spring Bonnie does up here. So I'm gonna say male, gonna say male before we start getting into debates about the, the, the gender of a robot. But there we go. Next down here, we have the original Bonnie looking absolutely fantastic. I love that jawline. He looks so masculine as opposed to the Spring Bonnie up here with the girly eyelashes. But the masculine one down there looks so damn good. So there we go. We've got three animatronics there. Moving across, we have Nightmare Fredbear. Nightmare Fredbear has made its appearance and it looks terrifying. How can you make uh, uh, such a cute character uh, roster horrifying with this guy? Look at those claws. Look at those claws right there and there that looks absolutely fantastic. And just to the left hand side, the right as we're looking at it, we have got the Adventure Phantom Puppet right there. Oh shit, we've also got another one down here. Six characters in which we've got Adventure Toy Freddy who looks really, really cute as opposed to his great-great-grandfather or, or, or however it is, um, a, a Fred Bear up here. Jesus, look at the contrast between these two. It's just absolutely beautiful. Scott's adding them right, left, and center, but we've got some very interesting talking points. But anyway, quickly, let's go and try and save the image. It saves as FNAF World again. Let's go and check the page source info, because again, as always, we need to check this just in case Scott's hit anything in here. It looks to me to be exactly the same as always, which is fantastic, which means we go into Photoshop and we check out the images. This is yesterday's image. Very, very colorful. And we move to today's image. I'm pretty sure the background... Is the FNAF world is FNAF world is a lot clearer this time as you can see there just flicking between the two images so the the lettering is a lot clearer that will probably come through as bright as the thank you it did on the the, the, the image to start with when Scott really started to begin to tease us and uh, let's have a quick zoom in of some of these characters and have a little analysis of them but there that Purple Freddy looks absolutely fantastic. I, I, I speculated yesterday that we, once we had a Shadow Bonnie that we were most likely going to be getting a, a Purple uh, Bonnie and Freddy as well at some point as well. So there we go. Got him confirmed down there, which is fantastic. <laughs> look at Plush Trap looking fucking amazing. Now, while we're here, let's have a look at um, the original Bonnie looking. Look, I love the original Bonnie. He's just so simple. He's cute yet masculine even with pink eyes and he is amazing i bonnie has always been my favorite animatronic and just seeing him all adventure mode and and the, the cartoony is absolutely fantastic i love his appearance now let's get a fucking look in here that the ears confirm that it is spring bonnie the eyelashes confirm that we don't know what the hell gender it is. We don't know. It's 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 got to be a male. It's got to be a male. It is Bonnie for the whole generation has been male. I but then you could say that about Foxy and Toy Foxy. I don't know. I'm going to say let's see if we can get both eyelashes on the same image because the eyelashes are very similar for these two here. Very similar. You got the 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 four pointing up like that and if we have a look at the other girls, they're <laughs> they're exactly the same. They're exactly the same. Is, is Spring Bonnie a girl? I don't know. We, it's, it's hidden away in the background. Scott wanted to hide this one. Really hide this one. So he slash she. It's an it. They're all robots. They're it. Doesn't really matter. Um, but there's another talking point people debate the hell over. I'm going to say male still. 
Um, over here, let's look at Fredbear real quick. I love this design. I love this design here. Look how frightening these two look. Oh, both of them look really frightening. The, the, the phantom adventure puppet here looks, it looks amazing. I love it. And, and, and the Fredbear, probably one of my favorite designs so far. I can't wait to see Nightmare. But I think that that one, the claws look absolutely fine. This guy just does not look amused. He's like, really? More teasers. But yes, more teasers, Mr. Animatronic. Yes, um, I love the design. Those claws are absolutely terrifying. I love them. And then we go down and we look at Toy Fredbear. He looks, oh, Adventure Toy Freddy. He looks absolutely, he looks amazing as well. He looks really amazing. I, I absolutely love him. Um, overall, the, the roster is getting so damn full now. So damn full. I, I love each and every single one of them. I, we're starting to get the nightmares in now. We're getting the Freddies are, are, are starting to appear. Um, I don't know. I can't even guess who's next. Probably, we're probably going to get um, Shadow Freddy and Purple, Purple Bonnie at some point. I think those two characters are going to come over the weekend. And judge it, at the moment, we've probably got about another two, three days of teasers. I mean, that was six today. That's that's a lot of uh, new characters. So, potentially, we've got the weekend and then maybe Monday and Tuesday. Then after that, I think that'll be as done with the, the, the new characters. Anyway, Scott obviously has something else planned teaser-wise. And I cannot wait to see where this game goes. Each day he's giving us... He's just bringing more hype to the game. Can't wait to see the full roster. Can't wait to see what secret characters he's going to include. And I bet this isn't even it. I bet there's going to be some secret ones in the game. He already hinted towards that. So he's not going to tease them. He's going to leave them as a surprise for the game. And I can't wait to see what they are. Either way, guys, if you did enjoy today's episode, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. Pop down in the comment section below. Hashtag FNAF World. And you're new of the new favorite of the brand new animatronics we've seen here. So I would be putting hashtag FNAF World. Bonnie because that new Bonnie model is absolutely fantastic. I love it down there looking absolutely just just damn beautiful I just love it. But either way guys, I've been Razbowski. You've been the beautiful bastards as always for watching and I love Each and every single one of you. Yeah, bye